Hello, I'm Stephen Colson. I am. I was raised in Darrington. I came here in, my, in first grade. I was born in Yakima. Ended up here. Uh, I spent a lot of time in this town growing up, and I still live in this town currently. Uh, I'm 21, and I'm very thankful to have been raised in this town because it made me who I am. So I suppose the first introduction to Glacier Peak Institute I had was with Ginger Castleberry. She hosted this robotics program and as a kid interested in engineering at the time, I was really uh, invested in it and I joined the program and we did really well. Beyond that, I, I joined the Darrington Youth Coalition uh, and Darrington Youth Coalition and Glacier Peak Institute, they, they interact, as far as I'm, in my experience, they interact rather often. And then also Glacier Peak Institute's in-school programs uh, that was a, a, a big interaction between me and Glacier Peak Institute. We went out into like cold and rainy weather like this uh, and interacted on the riverside and learned about like macroinvertebrates and took water samples and stuff like that. And it was really fun. This summer I came under GPI's wing as the trail ambassador uh, of the Mountain Loop Highway. This is a brand new program, it's like sort of a, an, it's an ambassadorship to sort of educate the people who are new to the trails because there are a lot of new people on the trails uh, with COVID having happened, brought people, a lot of people inside, they felt cooped up and they had to get outside. And so there's a lot of inexperienced new hikers in the field and so I sort of took on the role of being the, the face um, uh, of the trail ambassador program. Uh, it was. We worked in conjunction with the Washington Trails Association, the National Forest uh, Foundation, and then the Forest Service. And it was sort of like this, this really cool inter interaction conjoining of four different groups to accomplish one, one, one project that really was valuable to us all. Uh, so, I had started going after my degree in, uh, in college, it's like just a, a, a catch-all environmental studies degree, I don't know exactly what I want, I hadn't known exactly what I wanted yet, and uh, I knew that I wanted to work in the environment, and Glacier Peak Institute, uh, through Oak, I learned, was a really good opportunity for that. Uh, I know that these trails and these, this public lands are very valuable, and they're valuable to me as well, because I grew up in the area. Uh, and so, in order to protect them and sort of to dip my toe, my proverbial toe in the proverbial field of uh, environmental studies, I applied for the program, uh, the, the, the opening, and then I, I got it, and I'm very happy about that. So uh, during the weeks, it's just sort of prep work. The most impactful stuff is going to be on the weekend when I actually went out and uh, had the volunteers and was out at these trailheads talking to the people. One example of the question would be parking. A lot of people came to this area without having done the prior research and they didn't know that they needed a specific pass and so I would educate them on that. Uh, more, more interestingly, often we would talk to just just talk to people and learn about their sort of perspective. One person that stands out in my mind is uh, a person who came out of the trail with this weird device and it was he'd taken pictures of the trail sort of to put a, a trail cam that people could walk through online and I asked him about that and learned a lot about that and that was really interesting. So really it was mostly just public work and working with people and uh, enjoying the old growth forest that I, I spent my daytime on the weekends in. Uh, there, are, there are a couple things that really jump out at me. One, one such being, you know, the community of GPI. I got to join them and work with them. Like, the individuals within GPI are all very interesting and very fun and very just good-hearted people. Um, and then beyond that, just making connections. Uh, I really enjoyed making connections with new people. One example is uh, one of my volunteers early in the program was a member of the Mountaineers, uh, which is another organization uh, primarily based out of Seattle, as far as I'm aware. 
and uh, I got to interact with a Mountaineers individual, and this person happened to be somewhat higher ranked in the uh, in the Mountaineers, sort of had like enough uh, some sway, and we ended up working with them near the end of the program uh, because of that connection that had been made as a trail ambassador and a volunteer trail ambassador. It was a the connections and the people were surely very valuable. Also, sitting in the old growth forest is really cool. The, 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 the trail ambassador job was a seasonal position. It was just for the summer. Uh, and I had to look uh, out elsewhere to find a, a position for the future. Uh, and that position I happen to choose was the Washington Conservation Corps. I, I was going to school, I'm taking a gap year uh, to go into the Washington, to Washington Conservation Corps. I'll call it WCC from here on. Uh, and because I, it's like impactful, uh, I'm very thankful for the work that I'm able to do. Uh, we're taking na noxious, nasty chemicals that have been injected into the woods as a preservative out of the sound which uh, if not taken out of the sound, would, and does, bioaccumulate in our orcas, our fish, in us, and all of that. Working with GPI, uh, it's, it's, it's working with a nonprofit, and anyone in sort of like a nonprofit field, or group, or working with them, will tell you it's hard work, and it's, uh, it's difficult, and it's, you've got to be flexible. Um, but there's a reason we do it. There's a reason people who work in these fields do it. It's the, the impact. This, this summer alone, I reached probably 1,300 people on the trail, and that's a conservative estimate. Uh, and it's, these, are, these are people who, prior to interacting with Glacier Peak Institute, Washington Trails Association, National Forest Foundation, and the Forest Service, that little conjoined mess that uh, we were, it was a it's wonderful opportunity. Uh, they didn't know a lot of this stuff prior, and then interacting with us, they, they learned. And uh, that impact is very valuable to me. Uh, I think just through my, through my time in GPI, I, I, I've got to be thankful to the people who made it possible. The people who supported this group, uh, they allowed GPI to have an impact on me, and they allowed me to have an impact on others. And uh, it's, it's changed my life, of course, uh, and I'm, I'm very thankful to all those who help.